Hey Pisces, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And this one is on wealth. What we all want. Okay? Let's define wealth right quick and see what it is. Why do we want it? Okay? Let's see. Wealth is a major supporter for optimum health because it gives you the financial freedom. Hello to make healthy choices and avail of an existing health and fitness resources. As a result, those who experience lack of wealth have limited access to most average and high level resources that support a healthy lifestyle. Welfare, prosperity, good, well-being, happiness, joy, riches, valuable material possessions, a great amount and abundance are plenty measures the value of all assets of worth owned by a person, community, company, or country. Essentially, wealth is the accumulation of sacred resources. Specific people, organizations, and nations are said to be wealthy when they are able to accumulate many valuable resources or goods. Okay, why can't we be them? Same bloodline, same mindset. Even more, because every last is a pay archery, pay, pay archery, the men of the world, okay, from the beginning, always had a woman, okay, mother, grandmother, sister, wife, uh, so-called whore, whoever they met, that always showed them how to become wealthy. Okay, so we've been doing this. So why not do this for ourselves? You know what I'm saying? I found this book, You Are a Mogul, How to Do the Impossible, Do It Yourself and Do It Now by Tiffany Pham. We're going to talk about her in a minute. Okay, but let's define mogul and tycoon. Okay, and see where it started from. A member of the Muslim dynasty of Mongo or original founder of the successor of the Timberland, which ruled much of India from 16th to the 19th century, the Mughal Empire of Delhi. Okay? So this is him. Fantastic. We all want to look like, be good, right? Wealthy. They fought to get it. Are we fighting to get it? Somebody showed that. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay? Are we fighting to get it? Are we just going to watch other people get it and sit back again, you know? Because we don't have to, because you are beautiful inside and out, okay? Woman empowering a young woman infinity. We have daughters. We have nieces, nephews, cousins, okay? We need to inspire, you know? Let them know these things are possible. Sky's the limit. It's all about you, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? It says, Mogul, an impo important or powerful person, especially in the, in the motion picture or media industry. The Hollywood movie Mogul, Sam Goldwyn. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to make movies? You know, we got to do something to get it, right? I'm sure his mama or whoever, some woman, told him about it. Samuel Goldwyn, also known as Samuel Goldfish, was a Polish-American film producer. He was best known for being the founding contributor and ex executive of the Severe Motion Picture Studios in Hollywood. I'm telling you, we can do this. A person who possesses a great deal of power, influence, or wealth in business is often associated with a person who dominates an in enterprise or industry powerful or rich individual, Bill Gates and others, like what I showed you, likes to be in charge, powerful business person, leader, ruler, a tycoon, wealthy, powerful business person, German root word. Okay, so what's our, what's our deal? You know, we don't want to just be struggling. We don't want to be waiting on the 1% to make our decisions. Why can't it be 100% or at least 99%? You're inspiring. You're power empowering. You're driven. You're motivated. You're brilliant. You're unique. You're bold. You're fierce. You're a mogul. You're not just a woman. That's why I did it for women, because we've been doing this since the beginning. 
Everything started off with us, okay? They don't want to give us the credit, okay? And now it's time for take our power back, okay? So now I wrote on these uh, cards right here. Maybe you want to make these cards and sell for the people to, uh, to buy for the credit cards. I mean, you know, find out ways to do that, you know? To be behind the scenes and be wealthy. So what I did is I put the number of the pages on these um, cards, and I'm going to pull up uh, and then read it, see what she says. How did she get to her empire? She's trying to enlighten us, okay? Page 54, binoculars. You want to be a bird watcher. You know, it's a camera also. What you want to do, you know? Plenty of ways to make money with this. It's endless what you can do with that, you know? Just different ways to... Get to the well. Page 54. Let's see what she's talking about. Become an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is always looking for new opportunities, not new ways to approach a problem, new ways to create revenue, no matter where they are working. An entrepreneur is someone who takes the mindset of an entrepreneur and applies it to the company that they work for. This is an extremely valuable skill set in any job. Don't be afraid to show this side of you in the workplace. Every day that I was in CBS, I always was all I was always ready, excuse me, and wanted to do more and take on more. I jumped at every chance to take on additional responsibilities and create new business opportunities for assets. I help oversee to further grow and scale. So she's growing through the company. She's learning for her own stuff. About a year and a half into my tenure, one of the presidents within the company approached me to collaborate with him more directly. I had received their annual All-Star Award for my work that last year. <clears throat> he formally offered to further support my development. If in exchange, I would only spend 25% of my time on business development from that moment onward. The rest would be spent shadowing him directly, collaborating on thought leadership, and participating in strategic meetings across departments so I could support his decision making as well as creating presentations for his own meetings so I would learn how the company was run from the highest level. Okay, so she's saying, start where you at. Okay, learn the business. Have them want you. You know, I know not everybody's on this. Some people are brilliant. They're already doing their job. I'm not saying everybody's not brilliant, but they're already up there. Maybe you mentor. Maybe you're helping others. Or maybe this help you to mentor others. You know, help them out in whatever they need to do. You know, empowering somebody. Giving back. Let's do one more day. You know, that's what I like to do. I like to empower. It helps me as well. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Maybe you want to make tables. You want to want to sell them. Maybe you want to make the the poles for the for them to want the the wood. You know, endless what you can do. The floors. You want to do that. Sell that. Make that. Find out how to do all that stuff to make. There's plenty plenty ways to make money. Let's see. That's page fifty. There's no excuse anymore. Never have been. We just have been dumbed down or let, or let somebody else get up and we sit back and watch. No more. Kill it by over-delivering. There is one skill that I believe will be an accelerate, accelerator for you no matter what job you find yourself in. One maximum that I believe will guarantee success. One attitude that will carry you exactly where you want to go. I've used it for every single job I've taken on, and it has never failed me. You got to kill it and over deliver on every task you are given. And I mean every task. There is no task too small for you. In any job, you want to be focused on how you can be of service in big ways and small. Early in your career or tenure or com of a com at a company, your task may be as mundane as making coffee scheduling appointments or answering the phone but those tasks can be performed very well make the best cup of coffee you can exactly exactly how your manager likes it set up a schedule system that never fails that allows you or those you work for to know exactly where they need to be at all times 
Answer the phone promptly and kindly. And as if you're new, as if New York Times reporter were watching you and going to write a front page article about how you answer that phone. Okay? So be the best in what you do where they're going to want you because those are potential clients. You know what I'm saying? When you leave, you can make it where they're going to need you and what you got to offer. They'll be glad to support you. Maybe even give you some money or help you stay in the company and, and make your own, their own, your own part in the company to sell your products. So it's endless possibilities to get to this. Okay? Endless possibilities. You know, we're very smart. I'm going to do a little tarot and see what they say. Okay? Very intelligent. Women? Wow. I'm looking at my grandkids and my kids and my daughters and how brilliant minded they are. I'm thinking of ways to make money, to get to their, where they need to be. You know? What is it? Eight of Pentacles. Work, paid work. Just talking about that. First Deacon, Virgo, Sun. So work on your craft. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want to make these cars. Maybe you want to sell men clothes or make the, the tools to work on. You know what I'm saying? The benches. I mean, it's endless. Landscaping. You know what I'm saying? Going to Bitcoin. Make your own Bitcoin. You know? It's endless what we can do. There's, there's no stopping us on what we can do. You know? <clears throat> so sky's the limit, Pisces. Okay? King of Wands. Cancer Leo Aries. Man over 25 years. Green eyes. Blonde to red hair. Restless, outspoken, ambitious. Okay? There it is right there. That you gotta be. I got to go get this. I know where I want to end up. You got to visualize it. See, he's visualizing where you want to be. He going to speak up what he has to say. He going to be ambitious. Do what he needs to do. He going to find all kind of ways to get it done. You know? Visualizing. Where do I want to be? What do I want to do? You know what I'm saying? Let me see. I'm going to do a, a little chakra wisdom cards. I'm going to let y'all go. Just a little motivational thing for us all. You know, and and motivating each other. Let's see what it's saying for you, Pisces. Okay, they got two. Six chakra, third eye chakra, intuitive perception. I know that what my intuitive intuitive senses tell me are true. I open myself to be, to, I open myself to the truth that is within and around me, and I know that it is there to me for me to receive. I. Practice developing my intuition, and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am. In the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. Know the truth. Use your intuition on whatever you're doing. You know, use your insight to what you want to create. Fifth chakra, throat chakra. Uh, truthfulness. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth. And I speak in a loving, considerate way. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth. And I take care not to uh, extravagant, ex I can't think of that word, you see that word, in order to impress them. Okay? I am careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. You ain't got time for that. You got a business to run. You trying to be what? Wealthy. You ain't got time for gossip unless this gossip going to help you to the next level to improve what you need to do. You ain't got time to wallop in everybody's mess. That's too much. You can't focus on what you need to do because you focus on somebody else's stuff. We trying to get to the money. We trying to get to the wealth. You know what I'm saying? We try to make it other people go up. We trying to do that for ourselves now. All right. All right, Pisces. This is what I have for you. This is your girl, Ruth, signing off. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I hope this helps someone, okay? Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.